Good morning, everyone. I am Jaimeline Ibaloro, a B.Ed. student of Narso Shatton Campus. And for today's video, we're going to talk about philosophical basis of inclusivity. The learning objectives for this lesson. At the end of the lesson, the student can explain inclusivity and inclusion in education, construct a situation where inclusivity is applied, value the importance of inclusion in education. So here, there are pictures given there. So what can we say in the picture that is given? How are they related to each other? Is there racism or discrimination? So in the picture below, we can say that these two pictures are both related to each other, which means that these two are showing acceptance in each differences, whether they have different colors, whether the person there in the first picture has a disability. They accept each other. So there is no racism or discrimination in both pictures. And now let us talk about philosophy from the word philosophical or philosophy. So fellow means love and sophie means wisdom. So it means that philosophy, the love of wisdom, or loving wisdom. And now let us see what is inclusion. What is inclusion? Refers to a standard that applies everyone in a certain education system, the same level of using language instruction, the same experience, the same learning resources of the equal chance of participation. So from the word inclusion or inclusivity, or inclusive, the word inclusive, means that not, not exclude any of the parties or groups involved. Simply put, something doesn't leave any person out of the group. Regardless of their mental or physical abilities, they are understood, appreciated, and able to participate and contribute meaningfully. So it means that inclusion no one is disregarded or excluded from the group, whether they have special needs or not. They must be treated fairly, following each person and respecting their ethnicity, diversity, physical, mental, social, and social aspect is one of the words that describe inclusivity. So next, inclusion in education is based on many universal declarations which reflect on universal human rights and rights of children. Inclusive education is based on four 21st century pillar of education, learning to know, learning to do, learning to be, and learning to live together according to UNESCO 2009. So inclusion in education, so everyone has the right, a human right, and a children has the right of education. So there are four um, pillars of education in the 21st century. Learning to know, to do, to be, and to live together in any differences or special needs of a student. UNESCO 2005 views individual differences is not seen as problem but as opportunity for enriching learning. So inclusion is precisely about reforming schools and ensuring that every child receives quality and appropriate education within the schools. In particular, inclusion is based on four key elements, a never-ending process concerned with the identification and removal of barriers. It is about the present participation achievement of all students it focuses on groups to learners who may be excluded, marginalized, or at risk of underachievement. So each individual or student is unique in his or her own way and has the right to learn in a regular setting or in a regular classroom setting. And it is the duty of the teachers to accept them and treat them equally amongst their peers. Inclusion helps to create an enriched learning environment where diversified or differentiated teaching strategies with the use of modification and accommodation benefits all students. So, inclusion has four key elements, a never-ending process because learning has never-ending process. Concerned with identification, 
So whoever or wherever we are, it is not a barrier or a hindrance to stop on achieving our goals. And it's about pre presence, participation, and achievement of all students, whether they have a special needs or disabilities, or above them all, diversified communities. Everyone has the right to be included in a group and to achieve their dreams in life. Inclusion in education is a process of addressing and responding to the diversity of needs of all children, youth, and adults through increasing participation in learning, cultures, and communities, and reducing and eliminating inclusion within and from education, according to UNESCO, UNESCO 2005. So that's it. Inclusion will help students understand how life in the community is not divided in between people with disabilities and people without disabilities they are all part of the same community in an inclusive classroom students seen as or students are seen as people first and no one must be excluded from the group so inclusion means or is understanding understanding your school community, valuing each other, valuing everyone, celebrating diversity and individuality, reflecting on your practice, providing flexible learning, not just about access, knowing and understanding the needs of students more than just a policy. So here is the example of an inclusive community or showing inclusivity. In today's society, having intelligence and a good character should be the goal of education. And for today's video, I hope you gain knowledge or you learned for our discussion for today. So the philosophy of um, the philosophy of a special education is centered on a law written in 1975 called the Education for All Handicapped Children Act that stated that all children, despite having a disability, should have the opportunity to engage in a free public education. So here is our activity for A. For B. So that is all for today and thank you for watching this video.